This is the Beast Cage from Beast Grip. And if you watch my channel, you know that I really like this cage and use it all the time, especially for more robust filmmaking setups. For instance, in my most recent short film. And what I really like about this cage is it's the strongest, most well-built cage you can get for an iPhone. It reminds me a lot of DSLR or mirrorless type cages or cinema cages, but again, for a phone. It's very strong and robust, and it's just a great system overall. But it has one problem that's always hindered me from using it more. Before I talk about the problem, I need to first tell you about how I use the rig. Beyond the cage being robust and super strong, what I really like too is that you can change out the mounts. This is the Moment Bayonet mount. They also have a 37 millimeter mount, which is really more of a universal screw on mount. And then they've got the 17 millimeter mount, which I don't use a lot. However, there are a lot of lens makers that use this mount. So it's great that you have flexibility using this cage. The mounts just click in and you tighten this down and it's in nice and secure. And the other thing I really like about this system is when you use the Beast Grip lenses, this is their 1.33 times anamorphic version two, MK2. It's a 37 millimeter mount screw on. It has a filter thread on there. It's a 58 millimeter mount thread. Now Beast Grip offers some filters. These are black mist, there's 58 millimeter, and this is a VND. And so you can use those on this particular setup. And those are fine if you own them. I don't typically buy that many 58 millimeter. I buy larger ones. And so what I do is use a step up ring. This is a 58 millimeter to 77 millimeter step up ring. And then you can use a larger ND filter. I tend to like the ones from Freewell. This has mist built in too. So it's a VND with mist. So now you're ready to go besides the phone. I don't have the phone in here right now just for demonstration purposes. And if you're not familiar with why I use an ND filter, the main reason on a phone is for motion blur. Without it, you get very fast shutter and your footage can look staccato. That's the word I use anyway, stuttery. It's the number one thing that I recommend when I hear people say that my iPhone footage doesn't look like a traditional camera or a quote, real camera. That's typically why you're not using motion blur. And so this all brings me back to the problem with the beast cage. If you don't use an external lens, you can't use a filter. The mount here is not threaded. And so there's no way just to add a filter on there. I've long touted the greatness of this Moondog Labs filter that connects onto a moment case and then allows you to put an ND filter on a case. Well, let's say you had the moment bayonet mount on here on the beast cage and you put this filter on there, well, you probably see the problem. You only have access to one lens because of the way the mount works. And so this setup wouldn't work. But now, thankfully, and I think from a lot of input from users like myself, and I'm sure many of you guys out there, they now have a solution. And it really kind of looks like the Moondog Labs, except that it is specifically designed for the beast cage. So now you put that on, you don't have to have a lens on and you can put any 58 millimeter filter you want on the actual cage. That's the B-Script VND. Or you could do like I talked about earlier, taking the setup from the lens. This has the step up ring 58 to 77. And now you can put larger filters on there too. And so now what this allows me to do is use this setup for more everyday shooting in quotes. This isn't super light. And so it's not like you're gonna take this out and be incognito. It is a cage and it has a little bit of heft to it. So it's not super light. However, before they added this new accessory, the only way to use a filter just to reiterate was with an external lens. And you don't always wanna use an external lens. And then on top of that, if you're using the ultra wide, which no external lenses work with anyway, you could never use an ND filter with this setup. So this new accessory is definitely one that I have been waiting for and I'm super glad it's available now from Beast Grip. 
So that's really one great thing about a company like Bscript, because they are small, they absolutely listen to their customers. And so now you can use the Beast Cage for more advanced setups, like I mentioned earlier, shooting my movie. But now you can also use it for more simple setups, just the cage and your phone and the built-in lenses and also the ultra wide, but now using a filter. So if you're interested in this accessory, definitely check it out. And there's a link in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.